Heavy rains in parts of Florida have soaked neighborhoods, turned roads into rivers, closed schools, and left more than 108,000 customers without power on Thursday, November 16, 2023. These heavy rains have been occurring in central and south Florida since Wednesday, the result of a slow-moving storm system in the Gulf of Mexico. As many as 7 million people were under flood watches on Wednesday. Strong onshore winds also created gusts of up to 120 km per hour at the high weather station near Miami and 103 km per hour at Daniel Pier near Fort Lauderdale. Videos and photos of the flooding showed cars driving on partially submerged highways, streets turned into floodwaters, and strong winds crashing through palm trees. As a result of the flooding, Broward County Public Schools were closed on Thursday and Miami-Dade County's Metromover Transit System was out of service, replaced by a free bus shuttle service. Other modes of public transportation also experienced delays due to heavy flooding. The city of Fort Lauderdale reported power outages, mooring issues, road flooding and wind damage across the region. Groundwater levels are nearing saturation, meaning additional rain may not be able to drain. By Thursday morning more than 108,000 customers were out of power across Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties. A high wind warning was in effect until 1 p.m. for wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour along coastal Miami-Dade, Broward and Palm Beach County. A hurricane warning is also in effect for Atlantic waters until 1 p.m. with gusts of 50 to 60 knots over the waters. This week's heavy rainfall has brought Fort Lauderdale's annual rainfall total to more than 100 inches on Wednesday, exceeding the average by 40 inches. The storm system is now moving parallel to the Florida coast, but some tropical rain is still possible in central and northern Florida. The storm is expected to hit the coastal Carolinas on Friday, producing patchy tropical rain and windy conditions. On Saturday, the storm is expected to hit the New England coast, including Cape Cod, but no significant and widespread rainfall is expected. 